Hello best friends! Today I am going back to look at my puberty riddled past via Facebook. Now, I have had my Facebook page for a very long time. In fact, when Facebook had just started, you couldn't just go on Facebook and start an account, you had to be invited by somebody who already had one. I was one of those people, so we're looking about 10, 11 years ago. I was very slow when it came to puberty, so I think about 10 or 11 years ago I was coming towards the end of the process. Um, it's pretty horrendous. Let's go look at some photos. Now I haven't actually used my personal Facebook page for quite a long time, but what I've done is gone onto my photos and scrolled right down to the bottom so you've got me at my youngest and I'm going to work in reverse order. Here is the first photo on my Facebook page. Now actually, I have to say, this wasn't the first Facebook photo I ever took. I deleted all the ones prior to this because I thought this one was really, really cool. So that tells you what I was thinking at the time. I'm a fresher at university here. A guy next to me is a friend of mine who was a year above me called Ryan Watley. Um, and I thought this was really cool and indie. And in fact, I posed for it. It looks like it's kind of candid, but I have my hand in my hair for a reason. Next up, we have the same evening, but a different friend. Here I have a guy called Michael Kavanagh. If you're from the States, I think that means something different. But if you're from the UK, that's like quite an offensive thing to do. So there I am, just swearing. What a legend. I also had a badge on my, um, on my lapel here, and I think, I can't remember what it said on it, but it was a baby shambles badge, and I think it said fuck forever on it, because I thought it was like really cool. Just lingering on these two photos for a while, I haven't actually noted the hair yet. My hair actually looks in really good condition, it looks quite soft and shiny. It, <laughs> the reason it was soft and shiny is because at this time of my life, I was told not to wash my hair. Someone told me if you don't wash your hair, it washes itself. So I'd gone about probably two weeks without washing it. And what it did, where it grew quite long on the sides here, it used to kind of curl back on itself. And you can kind of just about see that there. As you can see in this photo, which is artfully desaturated for some reason, uh, you can sort of see my, my hair curling a little bit on the sides and on the back there. A nice out of focus number here. Again, I'm with Ryan and a guy who I think was called Ben, but everyone called him Albie. Um, and here I've had my hair cut a bit and you can see just how young I look. I am 19 or 20 there, but I look about 11. Hence why my friends look so much older and cooler than me. I look like I snuck into the club. Me licking Ryan on the head. I was quite obsessed with Ryan <laughs> in like a, a really weird way because he's a year older than me. So I was like, whoa, I've got a cool friend now. So I literally followed him and apparently licked him. Also, a really bad photo, but you might be able to see here. This is when I started thinning my hair out. My hair is really thick. Um, and it just would grow so fat and like bouffanty that I decided to get some thinning scissors and like start thinning it out. I didn't realise what how badly I did it until I'm looking back at these photos, but it looks like I've got kind of like an 80s wig on. At one point I also dyed my hair. Um, I don't know why, probably because Ryan did it. <laughs> I copied. Cool. The first appearance of Tanya Burr on my Facebook profile page. I'm drinking a can of Foster's because that's what all the lads drunk. This is me just casually sticking out my tiny tongue. I think I've told you this before, I have the smallest tongue in the world, look. That's it, when I stick it out as far as it will go, it goes really fat and solid. That's as far out as I can get my tongue, it's kind of like, tied a bit. Interesting story. Oh, okay, this is me as the gormless giant. Uh, my sister had her... I want to say this is her 30th birthday, um, and Tanya looks really sexy as like a, who was she, like an Alice in Wonderland type character. I went as Robin Hood, um, and I actually wore tights, and I made this outfit, and I made a bow and arrow out of sticks and string. Um, what did she see in me? <laughs> this was a freshest night, uh, and these are the people on my course, and clearly I was the tallest in, in my class. Not sure what this one is. Oh good! Really hench. <laughs> Super strong I was. Cool. Tiny looking glamorous, me looking like Gollum. Definitely wasn't old enough to be at university, was I? <laughs> I looked like a school child, just in a bar for some reason, holding some alcohol. I used to drink quite a lot. This is before the days that I kind of stopped drinking. Uh, rest assured, most of these evenings I'd get home and be violently ill, which would later lead to me not drinking. The more I look at these photos, the more I wonder what Tanya was thinking, because she looks super hot and I look like a giant village idiot. <laughs> Whoa, this is an old photo that actually predates any university. This was uh, sixth form, so I would have been 16 here. Um, so the guy in the background is Andy Lake. He was going out with the girl in the front, whose name I can't remember. And then I fancied this girl on the left. 
What was her name? I can't remember her name now. She was not interested at all. I pursued her and pursued her. She did not care. Ha! Look at me now! What colour is Tanya? How much tan does she have on? Every time I see this photo, I can't help but think that Tanya's hand looks like a foot. At an Ed Sheeran concert, this was before Ed Sheeran started being like really popular. He was playing really small venues and just stood in the middle of a room and started playing. Um, and I can't see me. Maybe I took the photo. Oh, hang on, no, that's me in the background. Back, back left, tall guy. That's me. There I am again, uh, back left. Clearly too cool to be there, got my arms crossed and I'm like, I don't need to see Ed Sheeran, whatever. I'm showing in this photo, I might blur out a certain aspect of it. Um, if you look closely, my friend Leon, um, who is the skinhead guy in the front here, actually has his penis out. <laughs> and then this guy on the far left, I've forgotten his name there, he um, used to pee in a pint glass and then drink it. Um, yes. I'm not sure what this one is. This is a video of Tanya playing with those things you get in festivals. Not very well. Yeah, I remember this night! This is bringing back so many memories. Uh, we were in a bar, and there was a guy playing like bongos, and Tanya went, MOVE! And this guy was like, paid to be there, it was his job. Tanya made him move and just started playing the bongos. Because, um, that's my wife. I want to say, this was in Sydney, uh, when we were travelling, and we went to see the fireworks. But the fireworks were really expensive to go and see, so we spent the entire evening climbing a hill to get a really good view and uh, time climbs my back. <laughs> this is our friend Lloyd, who came along travelling with us, going for a wee uh, on the beach, and Tanya going, hey, look what Lloyd's doing, he's going for a wee on the beach. Snorkeling, uh, coming out of the water, um, looking like a real boss. Cute photo. My sister's wedding, how nice. So my brother and I walked her down the aisle, because we don't have a father, um, she asked us to do it instead, which is really nice. Although the aisle was very narrow <laughs> and also very short, so we had about six steps and it was really hard not to like fall over people. And when you're with the bride, who has quite a wide dress on, it, you know, you don't want to stand on the dress, but also you don't want to stand on people's feet, so it was kind of like walking a tightrope. The early days with my friends, clearly I didn't like them much because I'm the only one not smiling. Um, <laughs> I've got no idea where this came from, but this is my nan dressed as like, what, King Henry VIII or something? Good one, Nan. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching it. I hope you liked it. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye.